Hello and welcome to the BMC Quick Course Series. My name is Andy Andrews and I'm a software consultant for the mainframe batch products at BMC. In this session, I'll show you how to convert an IMS DLI program to BMP using the Auto Checkpoint feature of ARC for IMS. The Auto Checkpoint feature makes it easy to add checkpoint logic to a program. To enable the feature, simply add a few keywords to the program's execution JCL. ARC dynamically issues all of the required IMS calls to satisfy IMS extended restart processing. In other words, the program will now be restartable. In addition, automatic checkpoints are processed by IMS and will provide the same functionality as hard-coded in-stream IMS checkpoint calls. This module will only focus on programs that have never had IMS checkpoint calls. Let's see how it works. Auto Checkpoint works for application programs that are written exclusively in COBOL. Most COBOL programs can benefit from Auto Checkpoints. The key ingredient is that the program must perform an external activity that marks the internal unit of work of that program. This is typically I.O. to a sequential file or reads against a driving IMS database PCB. Once the unit of work has been identified, ARC can count actions against that UOW and will initiate checkpoint processing on a periodic basis. First, we have a few IMS requirements to satisfy. The program will need an IOPCB. If it does not have one, modify the program to add it. Modify the IMS PSB to specify COMPAT equals yes. The PSB must be defined to the IMS control region. Of course, the database must be online and available to IMS. DBRC registration of the database is highly recommended. There is no need to insert an IMS XRST call into your program. ARC will dynamically insert this call into your program for you. Include auto restart equal Y in the ARC sysin to dynamically insert an XRST call into your program. It will be executed before the first printed statement on the COBOL compile listing. Because ARC does not know what program storage actually needs to be saved, the entire contents of working storage will be snapped for each checkpoint. If the program is being restarted, the entire contents of working storage will be reset to the value as of the last checkpoint. During a restart, your program will execute as normal and should fall through the program initialization and housekeeping sections of the program. As each file is open, the file will be reinstated to its state as of the last checkpoint and will be repositioned accordingly. If your program needs to do any special processing during a restart, ARC can optionally provide a value in the COBOL reserve word return code, which can be tested for a non-zero value to indicate that the program is being restarted. ARC makes sequential file conversion easy as it does not require that native QSAM files be converted to GSAM. ARC automatically manages all flat files and treats them as though they were GSAM. You do not need to do anything to the existing COBOL read, write, open, close verbs. Also, there is no need to create a GSAM PCB within the IMS PSB. During normal processing, the file is processed as a normal file. When a checkpoint is processed, the QSAM buffers are flushed to harden the data and the position of each file is saved. In the event of a restart, the file will be repositioned before control is given over to the application. Now that we have discussed the basics of auto checkpointing, let's put it into a program. Here is an example of an input-driven program. The program reads a record from the input file in 001, updates a database, and writes an audit record to the output file. Typically, you use the input file as the trigger file. We will use the input file N001 as a trigger to drive checkpoint processing. To set this up, specify these keywords in ArcSysN. The first two keywords, Auto Restart and Auto Checkpoint, issue the XRST call and enable the Auto Checkpoint feature. The example shown here identifies the input file using the Auto CPRS DDN keyword. The final keyword, AutoCPRSCNT, says how often to issue the checkpoint. In this case, a checkpoint will be issued for each 500 input records. The specific timing of the checkpoint will be just before each 501st record is read. Conversely, if you had selected the output file, OUT001, as your trigger, the checkpoint will be issued just after each 500th record had been written to the output file. 
Here is an example of a program that sweeps through a database looking for records to update. In this example, let's assume the program is sweeping through a database that is represented by the second PCB in the IMS PSB. To set this up, we will specify these keywords in ArcSysIn. The first two keywords issue the dynamic XRST call and enable the auto checkpoint features. Both values are set to Y. Because the program reads the second database PCB sequentially looking for certain database records, we have identified the second database PCB as the checkpoint trigger and specified auto CP RS RPN equal 2. The final keyword, auto CP RS CNT, says how often to issue the checkpoint. When triggering against an IMS database, as each root boundary is crossed, the trigger counter will be incremented by 1. In this case, a checkpoint will be issued just before each 501st root boundary has been crossed. Conversely, if you had selected the output file OUT001 as your trigger, the checkpoint would be issued just after each 500th record had been written to the output file. The database position would be captured and would be reinstated in the event of a restart. Because you have added automatic checkpoints, you should now see checkpoint messages coming from your program. You might want to adjust the trigger count keyword if you are seeing too many checkpoints. Now it's time to see if the program can be successfully restarted. To do this, ARC provides an easy technique called early termination to let you simulate an admin condition. Specify the term after C or term before C keyword in the ArcSys NDD to add in the program either before or after the 10th checkpoint. When the job fails, simply restart it at the fail step. Don't change the job name. Arc will automatically restart the job from the last checkpoint. If the restart is successful, the totals and record counts will be the same for both a normal run that goes straight through to completion as well as when the program has to be restarted. Be sure to remove the term keyword from the ARC sysin after your testing has been completed. Congratulations! Your program is now ready to run as a BMP. To recap your actions, you have modified the program source to contain an IOPCB. You have modified the PSB to add COMPAT equals YES. ARC has dynamically inserted XRST and checkpoint calls into the program. ARC has dynamically altered the QSAM I.O. to simulate GSAM processing. ARC Early Termination has made it easy to test restart processing. Thank you for your time. For more information on any BMC mainframe product, please visit the URL shown here.